Welcome to Xara template tutorial lesson number 33 and this Xara web designer 7 premium tutorial will be going over how to access navigation menu bars that are already built for you within the designs gallery. If you haven't already go ahead and start a blank new document in Xara web designer 7 premium and once you do that you'll go ahead and look to the right side of your screen and make sure there's a designs gallery option there if you don't see it go to utilities galleries and then go to make sure that the designs gallery option is selected so utilities galleries and then go to make sure that there's a checkbox by the designs gallery option if that is there then you should be set go to the right side of your screen go to the designs gallery and lock the thumb tack there to lock the panel and if I seem like I'm going a little bit fast here it's because I've covered a lot of this stuff in previous tutorials so make sure that you're watching all of the previous lessons to get you up to speed next thing we're going to do once we lock the panel for designs gallery is we're going to go to the navigation bars folder and I'll give you a second to look for that once you find the navigation bars folder left click on that and it'll bring up the options you have for navigation menu bars and we're going to scroll down a little bit and look for a certain navigation menu bar that I saw here earlier. Ah, there it is. Okay, so you're going to look for the satin sheen horizontal nav bar. And it's kind of gray. I don't know if you can see that on, on your screen here. But look for this grayish uh, nav navigation bar and then left click on that and drag it on your screen. Or look for the title that says satin sheen horizontal nav bar. And when you left click and drag it onto your workspace, while you're holding it over your workspace, you'll see an arrow that's next to your cursor, just like before when we dealt with the point objects from the designs gallery. And when you let go of your left click mouse button, it'll actually you want to match. In this case, we're going to say don't match, especially if you have the uh, you know the light bulb like you did in the previous t previous tutorial on your workspace. But if you start a blank document, you won't get this match colors thing. But if you still have that original document where we worked on the light bulbs, you will get this prompt that tells you do you want to match colors in this case don't match left click on the don't match uh, button and it won't match it it'll keep it to its original gray color and if you double left click on this navigation menu bar like we like we showed you in the navigation bar uh, menu tutorial you'll be able to still edit it as usual you can add a new button if you want it by going to the buttons and menus option and double click on it and it'll add a new button as you'll see we now have a new button if we double click it again to add another button it'll add another button so I'm not going to explain to you how to use the navigation bar properties because again we've already covered this stuff I just wanted to simply show you that you would take the same approach as you did before except you don't have to build it by hand the program has already built it for you now there's advantages and disadvantages of using the designs gallery for that you know for one not every navigation menu bar is going to fit to your specific needs for your business and it may not fit for someone else's too especially if you're designing for a client so you're going to you still want to have that knowledge of how to build your own custom navigation menu bar so you can build it exactly to your client specifications but anyway sometimes sometimes you will be able to use a navigation bar that will fit with the brand identity our brand identity that you're trying to create for either yourself or for a client. So go ahead and click the OK button because we're not going to go over how to how to add stuff in. I just wanted to show you how you would drag this navigation menu bar into your workspace and continue to add links to it and stuff and which you already know how to do once you get to the navigation bar properties you would just make the changes that you want to to that navigation bar. And I hope this helped this tutorial helps you to understand how to add in your own navigation menu bar. And there's actually one other thing I'm gonna cover. So let's go ahead and delete this navigation menu bar. And I'm gonna I didn't show you the horizontal versus vertical uh, menu. So let's go ahead and let's select let me find a button here. Let's choose uh, let's go with the gel horizontal so find the the option in your designs gallery that says gel horizontal and it's kind of a red circular button here there's like three of them when you find that option left click and drag it into your workspace and then hit don't match and you'll see that we have a horizontal menu and let's double left click on that menu 
and then in our orientation options you'll see horizontal versus ver vertical we're gonna click vertical and you'll notice that our navigation menu became vertical let's go ahead and hit OK to close the navigation bar properties so I wanted to show you that you can have a vertical navigation menu bar or if you double click and left click on that and select horizontal you can set it back to a horizontal navigation menu bar so you can have you know not just the horizontal you can have a vertical navigation menu bar which is something I didn't cover in the first tutorial on how to make your own navigation menu bar but I'm gonna go ahead and set it back to the satin uh, navigation view, navigation menu bar the satin sheen and not gonna match it and I'm gonna keep it the same because I think this one looks pretty cool with the stuff that we did in the previous tutorial alright well I hope again that that helped you to learn how to use navigation menu bars for the Xara Web Designers premium software using the designs gallery and if you have any questions go ahead and send us a message on YouTube and don't forget to subscribe if this tutorial helps you learn how to access uh, the navigation menu bars from the designs gallery keep in mind as I said in the previous tutorial we covered how to actually edit the navigation menu bar and this tutorial was not about teaching how to use the navigation menu bar it was more so about how to add in a pre-built navigation bar from the designs gallery and uh, if you don't have any questions uh, not a problem just give us a thumbs up to let us know we're doing a good job thanks again and stay tuned for future tutorials